During the 2008 season, the WSL News Team traveled from coast to coast, bringing you all the top action the World Softball League has to offer. Wally Balls here, coming to you from Reno, Nevada, the biggest little city in the world. So I'm here in College Station, Texas, South Dakota, USA, reporting to you from the glorious suburb of Bloomington, Minnesota. I'm in it! I'm in North Dakota! This is real! Yeah! The fuel for our travels was, of course, provided by SoftballSupplements.com. Hundreds of tournaments were held, and thousands of teams entered to make up this year's WSL rosters, all giving us some of the best slow pitch softball action the world has to offer. You just hit 10 home runs in 10 tries, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Now, if I hit 10 home runs in 10 tries, I would retire, I'd never pick up a bat again, and just walk away into the sunset being perfect. And while the players were always playing hard, everyone involved with WSL tournaments knew how to have a good time. Something old Ballsy can relate to a little bit himself. You want a Chuck Norris? Red Cups? A Chuck Norris? What is it? What's in a Chuck Norris? Well, you want to try one? Uh, no, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh! Wally Balls is the man! Wow, this just got creepy. But at the end of the day, it was of course what happened on the field that mattered most. Each of the top five teams of every division at any WSL tournament were qualified to move ahead to one of the three WSL national tournaments at the end of the year. Bye-bye. <laughs>